What are psychedelics? Well, according to the Oxford English Dictionary, a psychedelic is defined as drugs, especially LSD, that produce hallucinations and apparent expansion of consciousness. Okay. Jerome Jaff, who was the drug czar of the United States under Richard Nixon, define psychedelics as chemicals that, quote, reliably induce states of altered perception, thought, and feeling that are not experienced otherwise except in dreams or at times of religious exaltation. Well, the word psychedelic comes from the Greek psyche, meaning soul or mind, and delia, meaning to manifest. So a simple etymological definition could be mind manifesting or soul manifesting. Now, psychedelics is actually a term that has been popular since the 1950s, but there have been several other terms that have been used that essentially mean the exact same thing. Uh, first, psychomimetics was preferred in the earliest days of LSD research. Psychomimetics. You see, researchers believe that LSD could be used to help them learn more about psychosis by inducing psychotic states in volunteer subjects using LSD. They believe that LSD could reliably mimic the experience of psychosis, but this term was later abandoned after discovering market differences in psychedelic and psychotic experiences. Now, in the late 1970s, the term enfugion was preferred. This word literally translates to God within or generating God. This new name was at least partially in an attempt to escape the negative connotations that the term psychedelics had in the 1960s. Now, you may have heard of the term hallucinogen. This term has been mostly abandoned in academic communities because it suggests that the primary function of psychedelics is to produce hallucinations, but many psychologists recognize that there's a lot more happening than just hallucinations. Now, in this event, we'll be focusing primarily on the so-called classical psychedelics. These include psilocybin, DMT, mescaline, ayahuasca, and LSD, though there are many, many other substances also considered to be psychedelics. Now, these classical psychedelics are distinguished from their modern, normally synthetic alternatives because they're naturally occurring and they accomplish their effect primarily by antagonizing, that is stimulating, serotonin receptors in the brain. Specifically, they antagonize the serotonin 5-hydroxytryptamine 5-HT2A receptors.